erectile dysfunction can be defined broadly as uh, any the inability of a man to obtain or maintain an erection of uh, sufficient quality in order to uh, complete a sexual intercourse. So when you tell a guy uh, what the true definition of erectile dysfunction is, uh, most guys are actually surprised to learn that they do have uh, ED. How common of a problem is this? Well, it's, it's a lot more common than men think. Um, we know that erectile dysfunction affects approximately one in five men in this country, which amounts to about 30 million men in, in America. So uh, we, we tend to refer uh, to erectile dysfunction as uh, uh, the canary in the coal mine or the, uh, the, the warning sign, or uh, we sometimes say your, your penis is the window to your heart uh, because uh, the disease process, the underlying disease process that causes erectile dysfunction uh, is similar to the disease process that causes uh, heart disease, strokes, and peripheral vascular disease, and that's atherosclerosis or hardening and narrowing of the arteries. Um, and we should almost be fortunate that it affects our penises before it affects our heart or our brains or our legs because uh, when it affects those organs, those can be life-threatening, whereas when it affects your, your erectile function, it's more of a lifestyle issue. So because of this association between erectile dysfunction um, and uh, other more serious medical conditions, uh, it's important to identify these other more serious medical conditions when guys complain of ED. Currently, we probably see a lot of men who uh, look to uh, look, look for alternative sources for their information when it comes to uh, understanding their condition and treatment. For example, you only have to Google the word Viagra or erectile dysfunction, and you'll see there's probably about 30 million hits on Google for these keywords, and that's because it's a huge market, and these um, companies and people realize that unsuspecting men are going to go to them before they go talk to their doctors. Um, so a lot of men are looking for quick fixes, um, uh, because they're unaware of the resources that are available sometimes in their own communities, um, and they're also embarrassed by this uh, issue. So one of the things that we're learning is that men who have erectile dysfunction several years later go on to develop cardiac problems like heart attacks or needing bypass surgery or needing stents. So we think it's because the arteries in the penis are smaller that we see that problem sooner. And the arteries in the coronary arteries, the heart arteries, are a bit bigger, so we see it several years later. So men who have impotence due to that problem, the arteries in the penis, are at very high risk for developing a problem with their heart arteries later, usually within two to five years. If you look at the younger men, that is the men under age 50, most of the erectile dysfunction there is due to the, an arterial problem. The thought behind it is that men can be seen for this problem, erectile dysfunction, and any other problem. And if they come in for erectile dysfunction, they get evaluate, a complete evaluation completely comprehensive by a board-certified urologist, and if necessary, they will also be seen by a board-certified cardiologist. So the, the two specialties can combine to really give the patient exactly what they need so far as not only the drugs, but a complete evaluation and the right care. And let's face it, men make up 50% of the population, and they do have unique needs. Um, erectile dysfunction, uh, prostate enlargement, uh, testosterone deficiency, Peyronie's disease, these are very common problems that we see uh, in men's health arena. And they're oftentimes um, overlooked or neglected because of the sensitive nature of these conditions. We want this place to be one-stop shopping for guys. And... We know that sometimes guys are pressed for time. They don't want to go to different doctor's appointments. So we really wanted to put everything under one roof. 
well, I, I wouldn't uh, have a future if I hadn't come here. Dr. Scott recommended that I come see Dr. Cartman, and, you know, I knew nothing about the program that I'm in now, and, and uh, I've got a future. I'm feeling good and healthy and getting better every day. Oh, I'm happy with all the people at El Camino. Uh -huh. Yeah, they've taken care of me.